Happy Friday, all, and hope you are all staying happy and healthy. Welcome to 5-Minute Friday for September 10th. Today we're going to go over Rancher 2 CICD pipelines and do a quick demo of how to make one work for you. Well, if you're wondering, hey, what is Rancher? Well, Rancher is an incredible Kubernetes cluster orchestration system. It gives you built-in RBAC controls, cluster management, user management, built-in monitoring and alerting with Prometheus, Grafana, and Alert Manager. On top of that, it has built-in Istio, CIS scanning, cluster provisioning, and way, way more. It just packages everything up to make your Kubernetes cluster orchestration easy to manage. I highly suggest you go take a look at Rancher and what it can do for you, along with Rancher's other products such as K3's, RKE, Rancher OS, etc. Okay, since we're cramming this into five minutes, let's jump right in and get started. First off, uh, everyone's going to need some knowledge on Kubernetes, containers, and even some experience with YAML-driven CI CD systems. Jumping over to my code base, we can see that I have a basic setup of a Docker container, which is just basically an Nginx running, running a static site for our demo. You can also see that we have a deployment YAML set up to basically get this ready to deploy to Kubernetes. Uh, in comes the comes in the pipelines. So we're going to commit this up to our GitHub based and configure our pipelines out. So now that we've taken a look at this and we just kind of know this is all set up, let's jump over to Rancher real quick. And I have a new project and new empty namespace already preset up and ready to go. So you can see their pipeline demo is a new, uh, new namespace over there. And if we go to pipelines, we can see that this is all empty right now through repositories. And it may ask you to authenticate and set up with GitHub or GitLab or something else. I've already done that once before, so we're just going to skip over that part. I'm going to jump down and find the Rancher 2 pipeline demo and just click Enable. And then scroll down and hit Done. Now we can see that this is here and it's untriggered. And we can go hit Edit Config. And you can configure this all straight through the Rancher UI, or you can go create a .rancher-pipeline.yaml in your repository, which is exactly what we're going to do. But just to show you, you can hit it here. You can configure pipeline. You can set up your stages. Set up like if it's only going to run on master, add a step in here where you can run a script or you can build and publish an image, which is what we're going to do in our demo here, or deploy or do that. We're just going to cancel out of this. And we're going to jump back over to the code real quick and create a new file called dot rancher dash pipeline dot yeah. Now we're going to edit this. For the sakes of keeping this short, I'm going to copy and paste this over and we're going to just run through it real quick. So just like most CI CD systems, it is YAML driven and you'll see that it's set up in stages and steps. So you can see we have multiple stages here in a couple of different steps and we're doing a few different things. In, in this example, our first stage is we're going to build and push a container out. So it's going to build out my Docker file and it's going to push it up to my private Docker registry. And it has a variable right here, which comes from the pipeline. And this basically just pulls the, the last bit of the Git shop. It's only going to run when it's on master and it's going to push it up. Next, it's going to run a deploy, which it's actually going to run 
the deployment YAML that we wrote over here before. And just a note over here, this has also got a spec in for the image using the variables that come from the system so that this becomes version controlled uh, images. If we jump back over to the pipeline real quick, it's going to run through. And the next thing that it's going to do is just show off that it can build something. We're going to run a busy box image that's going to echo out a variable and another variable just to show that you can also pass, pass in environment variables with uh, it should just echo out high monkeys. We'll see that. Down here is notifications and recipients. You can see this is actually a Slack channel and a notifier. This is a Rancher notifier. This is another part of Rancher where it has built in notifiers that you can use for alerts. Uh, one that I use is Slack. So this is going to notify my Slack channel uh, if the build was a success, changed or failed. So that pretty seems pretty simple. So we're just going to commit this up to our repo. Git add, git commit, adding pipeline. and we'll just push it up. We hop back over to our rancher now. We can see over here, we can see that it's untriggered. I'm gonna show you that if you go into the settings here, you can set it up to work off of a push, a pull request or a tag on the repo. And if we go and hit edit config, we'll see all that YAML that we put out here. Just like you do in a regular CI CD system. So now that this is all set up and works great, we'll just hit cancel here and we'll go over here and just say run. Tell it to run off the master branch. And we can see that this is going to take a few seconds because what it's also doing is it's spinning up a private Jenkins that you can't access and many are just to store the logs from the builds into this namespace. So it's specific to this project, nothing else can access it, and that's all that this will get used for. We can just let this run, and we'll uh, fast forward this a bit here. So just while we're waiting, let's go take a look real quick at what it's actually doing. So if we go into the workloads, we can see that it's deploying the Jenkins and Minio out. Up back over here and we can see that it's got one job running that's waiting and we can just click right back into here to see what's going on and you can see that it's also telling you setting up Jenkins if it's not deployed this can take a few minutes this is only on the initial run any one of the jobs after this it runs quite quickly because it's sitting there already running Great, now we can see it's going, it's cloning down the repo, and it's gonna build out the container and push it up for us here. First step is just clone. First step was a success, now moving on to building out the container. and pushing it all up. Now it's gonna go ahead and deploy out our stack. And you can see that it was all created. And if we go down to the last step, here it's echoing out those bars that we were talking about. We flip over to workloads now. We can see that the Nginx pipeline demo here is already going and already has six containers out there for it. If we go back to the pipelines, we can see that the last one was a success. If we go into here, we can see it was a success. And there we go. All right, well, there is your little 
tech jab at the Five Minute Fridays over Rancher 2 Pipelines. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, you know, I hope you guys check it out. It's a pretty cool little built-in system into Rancher. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.